If you're thinking about moving to Durham, I wanna share my top 10 favorite things about Durham to get you excited. I bet my number one reason will surprise you. I'm Allison Warnerowski with Ray Realty and welcome to another episode of Living in Durham where we talk about everything related to Durham, North Carolina. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what I personally love about Durham, North Carolina and show why people who live there absolutely love it. Let's get right into it. Number 10, Duke University. How could you talk about Durham without Duke being on your list? Duke University is one of the top schools in the nation and needs no introduction. It's one of the nation's leading research institutes in the field of medicine and technology and has an excellent engineering school. Accompanying the university is its elite medical program, as it has one of the nation's top cancer research centers. Many people come to Durham for the excellent healthcare Duke can provide. Beyond just the academics and healthcare, Duke is a school with rich history and elaborate architecture. The campus is breathtaking. From the dorms and the classroom buildings to the famous Cameron Indoor Basketball Stadium, Duke puts care into every detail. Visit the iconic Duke Chapel, which has over a 200-foot tower at its entrance, a 50-bell carillon, and stained glass windows everywhere. All right, number nine, it's affordable. Named one of the most affordable cities in America, your money will go further in Durham. Historically, Durham has been much less than the national average in cost of living. However, it recently has crept closer to the national average due mostly to the hot housing market in the Raleigh-Durham area. While the cost of housing is right now at the national average, Durham is much less than the national average in transportation, healthcare costs, and overall goods and services. Overall, despite the rising housing costs, Durham is still 5% less than the national average for overall cost of living, and it's a very affordable city to live in. Durham's prices per square foot, even in the most desirable parts of town, are still quite a bit less than the comparable locations in Raleigh, so you get more square footage for your money in Durham. Next up is number eight, the entertainment. Durham has plenty of spots to keep you entertained. The Durham Bulls are a local favorite, which is as much of a baseball game as a social gathering. It's nestled in the heart of downtown and the backdrop of the city towers over the outfield walls and after Friday and some Saturday nights, fireworks follow. Durham also has the Durham Center for Performing Arts downtown, which is a nearly 3,000 seat theater that hosts concerts, shows, comedy acts, you name it. For smaller venues, check out Pinhook for karaoke and dance parties or Motor Co. Music Hall for local acts. And don't forget the bars and lounges. We'll get to those further down the list. Durham also has one of the top malls in the area called South Point Mall. This is a huge mall that has both indoor and outdoor areas, plenty of dining, and a movie theater. You could spend all day there. Moving on to number seven, the downtown vibe and the community. You can feel the vibe of downtown Durham the moment you enter. There's a feeling of buzz and excitement. The area has a fun atmosphere with vibrant lights and decorations, and there are so many places to hang out with friends or meet new ones. Whether it's the Saturday morning farmer's market, the Durham Bulls fireworks, or the lights of the American Tobacco Campus, downtown is a fun place. Best of all, Durham has a strong sense of community. Everyone is very inviting and welcoming to all as its diversity is widely celebrated. Next up is number six, it's family friendly. Durham is a great place for families. There are some great communities and neighborhoods that are an excellent atmosphere for kids to grow up in, like Woodcroft and Hope Valley Farms, and even Crowsdale. They have the suburban feel where you can let your kids out to explore and play, but they also have plenty of amenities. Durham also has the beloved Life and Science Museum, which is both an indoor and outdoor oasis for kids, as well as the Natasium Indoor Play Space, which is a music-themed play space with guitar slides and bounce houses. And as previously mentioned, the Durham Bulls put on a great show for kids. The community also has a ton of parks for kids, like the Piney Wood and Forest Hills Parks, as well as plenty of outdoor trails and nature parks to explore. Speaking of outdoor spaces, that takes us to number five, the outdoor parks and the recreation available. Durham has some great outdoor parks to explore. I just touched on a couple of the many smaller playgrounds and parks dedicated to kids. But beyond those parks, there's Duke Forest, which is over 7,000 acres with trails to walk through nature, and it's maintained by Duke University. The Eno River State Park is arguably one of the best parks in the state. There are camping sites, tons of hiking and biking trails, an awesome footbridge going over the Eno River, and multiple spots along the river to swim and explore. There's also an old quarry in the park that is now a summer oasis for swimmers. 
Runners and bikers alike will enjoy the American Tobacco Trail Greenway. This 22.6 mile greenway passes through Durham and extends south into Cary and Apex. It has some great scenery along the way. For those looking to just relax in nature, look no further than the Sarah P. Duke Gardens at Duke University. Consisting of 55 acres of gardens, landscaped and wooded areas, this is one of the most popular places in Durham to kick back and relax outdoors. The gardens are visited by over 300,000 people annually and are an incredible popular wedding and photo location. The flower garden is absolutely beautiful. Next up, an incredibly important topic for some is number four. There's numerous breweries and cocktail bars. The downtown Durham area has quite a few local breweries to enjoy. Glass Jug Beer Lab, Full Steam Brewing, and Dirty Bull Brewing Company, to name just a few. These breweries are a great place to hang out and try the variety of different craft beers available and all have their own unique scenes. The Pony Source Brewing Company has a shaded roof deck for hot days with glowing string lights for the night to create a fun atmosphere. You'll also find many of these breweries attending local food truck rodeos downtown or possibly have your favorite beer on tap at the Durham Bulls game. Durham also has nationally acclaimed cocktail bars. Kingfisher was named one of the best cocktail bars in the country in 2019, and Alley 26 is a sophisticated cocktail bar that was a James Beard finalist. Bar Virgil is another very popular bar with handcrafted concoctions and one of the largest spirit selections in the Triangle. I've named just some of the most popular spots, but there's a ton of breweries and cocktail bars to explore. It'll take you some time to visit them all. Moving into the final three, while not quite as fun, this is an important one. Number three, the proximity to RTP. The Research Triangle Park is a powerhouse for medical and technical research that hosts some of the best jobs in the country. It attracts top talent and is a main catalyst for why the Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill areas have exploded in growth. With over 50,000 people working in RTP alone, mixed with the Triangle's lack of public transportation, the roadways get very crowded during rush hour. The RTP is by far responsible for the worst traffic in the area. So if you have to commute, you either want to commit to non-standard hours or live in Durham or Chapel Hill. Many people pick Durham due to its proximity to RTP, as you can utilize lesser traveled roadways to get in and out of the area. The average commute time for those living in Durham is less than 25 minutes, and some neighborhoods are even close enough to cut that in half or less. If you are planning to work in RTP, Durham, Chapel Hill, and parts of Wake Forest will be great options for you to avoid the brutal I-40 traffic. While we're talking about jobs, let's move into number two. It's a great place for a career. Durham has quite a few accolades related to careers. It's been named one of the nation's best places for college graduates to start their careers, the number one best mid-sized cities for jobs by Forbes, and one of the top 10 tech towns by Wired. Now with Apple, Google, and Meta opening campus campuses in the area, it's slowly becoming referred to as the Southern Silicon Valley. Even before Apple, Google, and Meta announced their campuses nearby, the adjacent Research Triangle Park hosted over 170 companies like Cisco, Nortel, Lenovo, and IBM. So there are plenty of well-paying jobs waiting to be had and many more to come in the future. For techies, researchers, and even entrepreneurs, Durham has so many opportunities to start and continue your career. These opportunities are the main driver for the economic boom in North Carolina and will continue to be the driver for years to come. And as previously mentioned, Durham is a great option for those who work in RTP due to the commute, the culture, and the excellent downtown scene. All right, we arrived at number one, and for some, this may surprise you. The number one best thing about Durham is it's a foodie's paradise. Durham has been a culinary destination for years, but has just recently begun to receive national recognition. It's been named the tastiest town in the South by Southern Living Magazine and America's foodiest small town by Bon Appetit. There is such a variety available as there is everything from original, classic style to more trendy restaurants, and there's a much greater diversity of food than many places in the area. Elmo's Diner is a local breakfast favorite, while Monuts is a popular place to get some fresh baked donuts amongst a variety of other great breakfast and lunch food. The Chicken Hut and King Sandwich Shop are some of the original restaurants in Durham with rich history, and of course you can't go wrong with Dame's Chicken and Waffles. Grab some barbecue at the back backyard barbecue pit for lunch or dinner, Viceroy for some amazing Indian cuisine, or a Pizzeria Toro for some excellent pizza. And if you're in the mood for Cuban, try the local favorite Copa restaurant. 
If you need a good old fashioned steak, Nana Steak is one of the best steakhouses around. A foodie's paradise though wouldn't be complete without food truck rodeos and food halls. Durham Central Park frequently hosts food truck rodeos and various other events with a variety of food trucks. And the Durham Food Hall has an excellent place to try a variety of foods with a support local mentality. The Durham Central Park also hosts the popular farmer's market every Saturday morning, which is another great way to support local vendors and get some delicious freshly grown produce. I hope this video gave you some reasons to be excited about moving to Durham. Everyone who lives here raves about it, and I know you will too once you see firsthand what it has to offer. If you're looking to move to Durham or the surrounding Raleigh area, we here at Ray Realty would love to help you find the right area for you. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Our contact information is in the description below. Our team started with the passion of doing just this, finding the perfect place for every family we help, and we have several agents who specialize in Durham. You can also join our Facebook group, Relocating to Raleigh, that is thousands of people just like you collaborating about the area. This group covers all parts of the triangle, including Durham. Don't forget to subscribe below and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss our videos. Comment below as well to tell us your thoughts. For more information on Durham and the Raleigh area in general, check out some of our other videos or visit our website at www.brayrealty.com. I'm Allison Warnerowski with Bray Realty and thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video.